Have you ever wondered about the importance of preventing heat stroke in broiler chickens? It might seem like a peculiar question, but for anyone invested in the poultry industry, it's a critical concern. Broiler chickens, those raised specifically for meat production, thrive in optimal temperature conditions. These conditions are not just about comfort, they directly influence the chicken's health and productivity. If the environment becomes too hot, the chickens can suffer from heat stroke, a serious and potentially fatal condition. Heat stroke in broiler chickens is not just a matter of individual chicken health, it's a matter of flock health. A heat-stressed chicken is a stressed chicken, and stress can quickly spread throughout a flock, affecting the overall productivity and profitability. The negative impacts of heat stroke on broiler chickens are manifold. Physiologically, heat-stressed chickens show a decrease in feed intake, resulting in slower growth rates and lower body weights. This is a direct hit to the bottom line for poultry farmers, but there's more to it than just economics. Heat stroke can also affect the chicken's immune responses, making them more susceptible to diseases. This can result in higher mortality rates, another blow to productivity. And let's not forget about the welfare aspect. A heat-stressed chicken is an uncomfortable, suffering chicken. We all want to ensure that our animals are as healthy and comfortable as possible. Thus, understanding and preventing heat stroke in broiler chickens is not just beneficial, it's vital. It's a matter of productivity and profitability, yes, but also a matter of animal welfare. Preventing heat stroke in broiler chickens is a multifaceted task, involving careful monitoring of environmental conditions, managing the chicken's hydration and nutrition, and being vigilant for signs of heat stress. But it all starts with understanding the importance of the issue. Understanding the importance of preventing heat stroke in broiler chickens is the first step towards ensuring their good health and productivity. So let's dive deeper into this critical subject, shall we? Knowing how to identify signs of heat stress in broiler chickens is crucial. As the mercury rises, the broilers in your care may exhibit a variety of behaviors that can signal they're feeling the heat. One of the most common signs of heat stress in broiler chickens is panting. Like dogs, chickens don't have sweat glands so they pant to cool down. If you notice your chickens panting heavily, it's a clear indication that they're trying to regulate their body temperature. Another telltale sign is the spreading of wings. Chickens will often spread their wings away from their bodies in an attempt to release heat. This behavior is akin to us removing layers of clothing when we're feeling too warm. A significant reduction in activity levels can also be a sign of heat stress. Chickens are naturally active creatures. When they're feeling the heat, they tend to become lethargic lying down and moving less to conserve energy. One more sign to watch out for is decreased feed intake. Chickens generally eat less when it's hot. This is because the process of digestion generates internal heat, and chickens instinctively know to eat less to keep their body temperature down. The importance of regular monitoring of your flock cannot be overstated. By being vigilant and keeping an eye on your chicken's behavior, you can detect these signs of heat stress early on. Early detection is key because it allows you to take steps to cool down your chickens before they suffer heat stroke, which can be fatal. Remember, heat stress is not just uncomfortable for your chickens, it can also impact their growth and productivity. Chickens under heat stress will divert energy from growth to cooling down, which can lead to lower weight gain and egg production. So, to ensure the health and productivity of your flock, it's essential to be familiar with these signs of heat stress and monitor your chickens regularly. Early detection of heat stress symptoms can significantly enhance the effectiveness of your heat stroke prevention strategies. So, how do we create an environment that keeps our broiler chickens cool and comfortable? Now that's the question of the hour. Let's delve right in. There are a few key methods we can employ to ensure our broilers stay chill and content. First up, we have proper ventilation. This is a non-negotiable. Having a well-ventilated space allows the heat to dissipate and keeps fresh, cool air circulating. It's not just about opening a window or two though, we're talking about a system that allows for a constant flow of air, preventing the buildup of both heat and humidity, two factors that can significantly contribute to heat stroke in our feathered friends. Next, we have shade provision. The sun is a major source of heat, and as much as we enjoy basking in its warm rays, our broiler chickens may not feel the same way. Providing ample shade is a simple yet effective way to protect them from direct sunlight and by extension, excessive heat. Now, let's talk about stocking density. This refers to the number of chickens housed in a given area. A higher stocking density means less space per chicken, and less space means less opportunity for heat to escape. 
By optimizing stocking density, we can ensure that each chicken has enough room to move around without overheating. These methods, while effective in their own right, work best when used together. They form a trifecta of coolness, if you will, that helps maintain a consistent temperature throughout the day. This consistency is key. Fluctuations in temperature can lead to stress, and stress, as we know, can lead to heat stroke. So let's recap. Proper ventilation, shade provision, and optimal stocking density are your best bets for creating a cool and comfortable environment for your broiler chickens. And remember, a cool and comfortable environment isn't just nice to have, it's a necessity. It's a crucial part of preventing heat stroke, ensuring the health and well-being of your broiler chickens, and ultimately, the success of your poultry farming venture. Remember, a cool and comfortable environment is instrumental in preventing heat stroke in broiler chickens. Hydration and nutrition play a significant role in managing heat stress in broilers, but how? Let's start by diving into hydration. Chickens, like humans, are mostly made up of water. When the temperature rises, broilers can lose a significant amount of this water through panting as they try to cool down, leading to dehydration. This is where access to fresh, cool water becomes vital. Hydrated chickens are better able to regulate their body temperatures and stave off the negative effects of heat stress. Ensuring that your broilers have access to cool water throughout the day is essential. You might be wondering why the water has to be cool. The answer to that is simple. Cool water helps to lower the bird's internal body temperature, providing immediate relief from the heat. Now let's talk about nutrition. The right nutrition can bolster a chicken's ability to cope with heat stress. Nutrient-rich feed can help to strengthen the bird's immune systems, making them more resilient to heat stress. You might be thinking, what kind of nutrients are we talking about? Well, the answer is a balanced diet that includes proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Proteins help in growth and repair, while carbohydrates and fats provide the energy needed to maintain body processes. Vitamins and minerals, on the other hand, play a vital role in keeping the bird's immune system strong. Also, it's worth noting that during periods of high heat, broilers may eat less. This is their way of reducing metabolic heat production. So, providing nutrient-dense feed becomes even more important during these times. Remember that nutrition isn't just about what the broilers eat, but when and how they eat it. Regular feeding times and easy access to feed can make a world of difference in managing heat stress. So there you have it. Hydration and nutrition aren't just about maintaining the day-to-day -day health of your broilers, they play a significant role in managing heat stress. Proper hydration and nutrition will not only keep your broilers healthy but also help in combating heat stress. So keep those waterers filled with fresh cool water, and make sure your broilers are getting a balanced, nutrient-rich diet. Let's recap what we've learned about preventing heat stroke in broiler chickens. Firstly, we delved into why heat stroke prevention is so crucial. As we've discovered, broiler chickens are especially susceptible to high temperatures, and heat stress can lead to decreased productivity, poor health, and even a devastating loss of life in your flock. Hence, understanding the significance of heat stroke prevention is the first step towards safeguarding your broiler chicken's health and well-being. Next, we discussed how to identify signs of heat stress in your broiler chickens. Remember, early detection is key. Look out for signs such as panting, wing spreading, sluggishness, and decreased food intake. If you observe these symptoms, it's a clear indication that your chickens are experiencing heat stress and immediate action is required. We then moved on to the importance of creating a cool and comfortable environment for your broiler chickens. Maintaining a suitable temperature and proper ventilation in your chicken house can significantly reduce the risk of heat stroke. Measures like installing fans, providing shade, and ensuring good insulation can make a world of difference in keeping your flock cool and comfortable. Furthermore, we talked about the role of hydration and nutrition in preventing heat stroke. Always ensure your chickens have access to fresh, cool water, and consider adding electrolytes to their water during excessively hot days. A balanced diet is also vital, as certain nutrients can enhance your chicken's ability to cope with heat stress. Finally, let's not forget the underlying message of this discussion. Prevention is always better than cure. It's far more beneficial to take proactive measures to prevent heat stroke than to deal with its aftermath. By understanding and applying these steps, you can ensure your broiler chickens stay healthy, productive, and free from the risk of heat stroke. Remember, prevention is always better than cure.